So we're almost at 2 million subscribers, but we're not really sure how to give back to you guys. Like, seriously. Seriously! We need you guys to tell us in the comments if you'd like to see a special, would you like to see an open lobby, or maybe you'd like a giveaway. We'll look at the top comments and we'll decide. We really can't thank you guys enough for being a part of our journey, though. Seriously. <laughs> oh, this is so emotional. <laughs> Alexa, play sicko mode. Wait a second. What if we gave away limited edition Fred? Wait, you're giving me away? But I love you! Goodbye, Fred. It's been a long time coming. Top five Fortnite memes that need to be stopped. Number five, we get it. Fortnite weren't exactly subtle with a lot of their skins. Most female characters look like they've been doing squats every day for the past five years straight. Now, at first, the thick memes seem to show up as people just taking the mick or making a joke. You often hear Hamlins or Daquan shouting, give me that booty when killing a bunch of stream snipers that showed up. Booty, so thick, boy, I need it. I need that booty. Come on, boy. This is all fun and games, but it seems like a portion of the community are taking it a little bit too far. With nearly every new skin that comes out now, we see a whole new bunch of memes surrounding their boobs to their butt. It is a little weird that Fortnite have over-sexualized these skins on a game meant for a younger audience, but surely we could all be a bit more decent about it. After all, it is just animated characters. It's just a game, okay? Then again, now that now that I say that, I remember some of the stuff that I've seen on the internet. Probably shouldn't be too surprised at this. Do any of you remember when we got a breast animation for the Calamity skin? This happened back in September when season six had just dropped. Somehow Fortnite accidentally managed to let this slip, <laughs> which seems a little suspicious to me, but I can't imagine how easy it is to accidentally create an animation and then accidentally add it to the update. But even if this was intentional at first, it's a bit shameful how everyone jumped on the oh my god, her boobs jiggle bandwagon. A ton of articles were written up on the subject and it's like, dude, boobs jiggle. That, that's what happens. Get over it. Stop being a creep. Get on with your game. Okay? Relax. It's just game. You don't have to be mad. It's only a game. Why do you have to be mad? Number four. So to set the record straight on this one, straight off the bat, we don't think it's bad just for people to have YouTube or TTV in their epic username. It's when they get too desperate for the cloud that it becomes annoying. Having YT, YouTube, Twitch, or TTV in your name, I wouldn't say is directly a bad thing. A lot of people do this simply to advertise the fact that they do stream or make content, which is fair enough, but th that's not really how you grow. But there's been plenty of times I've wondered if a certain pro player I came up against was someone I could look up on Twitch or YouTube. When you add a little advert in your name, it lets people know straight away, but most times they're gonna know because you're, you're being killed by a sweat and then instantly you're just like, oh, you're, you're a Twitch streamer, wow. For streamers who want to grow based on their skill, this method is particularly useful. However, when we see people stream sniping with these tags in their name, it's just purely disrespectful. They're not trying to grow their stream through the hard work and the grind, but simply by feeding off of someone else's success and audience. We see it all the time with Tifu whenever he gets killed. He doesn't just assume that they're a stream sniper, but if he suspects it, he'll check their names in replay mode, and if they have TTV in their name, he goes for the ban. If you ever consider doing this, then we highly advise you not to. For one, you're just being disrespectful to other members of the same community. And second, if you do grow from it, you're going to be seen as a negative or toxic channel, which don't usually last that long. Number three, we see things like this all the time on YouTube with a lot of clickbait compilation Fortnite channels. Ninja and Tifu, 1v1, who's better? Dr. Lupo destroys Ninja. In big streamer chats, you can often find people commenting going, this other streamer's better than you. This other streamer get more kills than you. Quite frankly, for one, it just needs to stop. And for two, it, it doesn't really make any logical sense. Most streamers stream and grow based on their personality. Even streamers that want to grow through their high-level skill still strongly add their own unique personality to the stream, and they spend a lot of time making the stream their own. This is why you can't really compare them. We all like different music, right? We all like different films and games, and it's exactly the same with streamers. They're here to provide gaming entertainment for those who enjoy their content. If you think someone else is better, then don't, don't be disrespectful and just randomly shout that in the chat. Just go watch the streamer you prefer. It's not hard. It's not, it's not hard, people. It's not... No, stop it. The fact is that there's no need to be that negative guy in the chat. Nobody wants that. Plus, we all have our own different play styles that can sometimes be as unique as the streamer's personality. If I'm up for watching some ridiculous gameplay, then yeah, I might put on Tifu or Ninja and there's many others. But if I'm for a laugh, then I'll stick on Tim the Tapman. They all have their own unique personalities and different strengths and weaknesses, and what you come for is entirely up to you. But that doesn't mean you need to compare them. You just find what you click with the most. Some people are going to enjoy other streamers more more than others, and everybody's just having fun. So just bear that in mind. Number two. So this again is one of those famous lines you hear quite a bit. 
but yet just makes no sense. For nice trash, it's for kids. Well, guess what? So is SpongeBob, but you don't see us hating. This is essentially the same thing as comparing streamers. If you don't like something, then don't play it. In all fairness, most people are self-aware enough to realize this, but the fact that Fortnite is doing so well convinces other players who normally wouldn't try a game like this to give it a go. It's the same argument for cartoons are just for kids. The fact is, Epic Games have done a brilliant job of making this game fun for people of all ages. Sure, it has that cartoony style, animated nature to it, but for some players, this is one of the best parts about it. The fact that what a lot of other games take super seriously, Fortnite have made into a fun and wild game mode. We see games like PUBG and H1Z1 that are a lot more realistic looking, and you know, that's fine if you prefer that type of gameplay, but there's no need to start hating on a game for being precisely what it was designed to be. I mean, fun for kids and older. Now, if you're one of the few that really don't like this game, then you know what to do, right? F find something you do actually enjoy and play that. Hopefully that won't hurt your brain too much. But as for the honorable mentions, we've got a top five gaming, more like top 10 gaming. <laughs> Got him. Okay, so, uh, that, that, that's enough for that. If you read the comments on any of out top 10 videos, you'll often find at least one or two people saying that this is a top five channel and not a top 10 channel, that we shouldn't be doing top 10s, which is fair enough. Technically, it doesn't say top five gaming, but the fact is if you want us to do only top fives, you're going to miss out on an insane amount of content and information. We're consistently bringing you some of the most informative and detailed videos on Fortnite. Believe it or not, okay? And we want to be able to bring it all to you to keep you all up to date with even the smallest of details or regrets. Every now and then, that requires us to do some top 10 videos. Sure, we could just split it up into two top five videos, but then that would take up two days worth of uploading, which as a result would provide you with less content. By God. Sometimes there's just too much going on with Fortnite for us to do a top five, and we do hope you can forgive us for trying to provide you with as much info as possible. We can always change our name to top five and top 10 gaming or five to 10 gaming, but I don't think it would have that same professional touch. Number one is... <laughs> Every now and then we see a meme break out on Fortnite that will be pretty funny. Then it gradually fades away and is forgotten, but sometimes these memes go on for way too long. It literally just becomes overkill after a while. The Alia intro was actually a prime example of this. We saw a couple of memes come out about his face breaking intro, and let's be real for a moment, some of them were honestly really well done, but after a while it just becomes a bit stale. People will jump on the latest trend and create their own memes in an attempt to get noticed, but it just comes off as desperate in the end. If it's six months later and you're still making Alia memes, I think you need to reevaluate what you're doing with your life. Memes like this are also directed towards a person in particular. And when you think about it, it is a bit of a hassle having that many people all take the mick out of you. It's all fun for a while, and Allier probably even thought that some of these were funny himself, but after three and four and even more months go by, and more memes are being made, it's it's time to stop. It's time to stop! It's time to stop, okay? No more! These memes must be stopped. Under all circumstances, we need to use everything in our power to stop these memes. And we need your help. Smash like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Push notifications on. Don't forget to tap that bell if you're doing swell. We hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep it here on Top 5 or Top 10 Gaming.